In this video, we're going to take a look at how to schedule backups on the Firepower Management Center as well as the Firepower Threat Defense devices. This demonstration will focus on backing up the device configuration for the devices just mentioned to a remote location using SMB. So to do so, we need to log into the FMC and this demonstration also assumes that the FMC is used to manage the FTDs as well. And then we need to go across to settings or the, the little cog here on the right hand side. And this version is 6.6.3. Uh, .6 so if the UI is slightly different, just follow the, the settings as I'm calling them out. And then we need to go across to scheduling And then when scheduling op opens, we, you will see that we have um, a calendar. Now what we need to do is we need to go to add task. And now we can see that we, we get a new page that says new task and we can select the job type. So you can see there's a whole bunch of things that we can do here. Uh, we are going to focus on backups today. So we'll leave backup selected. Now, you can schedule this task to run once only at a specific date and time or you can specify the task to be a, a reoccurring event. For this demonstration we'll only select once and we'll use today's date and we'll use uh, today's time. And it's worth pointing out as well that the start time is always in UTC, so do take that into consideration if your devices have a time zone set other than UTC. So let's give it a name, so we'll call it Demo Backup. And the backup type, we have two options here. So we've got the Management Center, or we can specify device. Device is going to be the FTDs and uh, management center is obviously the, the FMC itself. Uh, backup profile, we can just leave that as um, the profile that I've created. And comment, you can give it a comment if you would like to um, specify, you know, what, what this, uh, basically give it more information. You can also, email the status of the, the backup or the job, the task that's running, if you want to, and if you've got a uh, mail server set up and configured. And just before we continue, it's probably worth pointing out the backup profile and what that is if you're unfamiliar with this. So um, before you do start trying to schedule backups, create a backup profile. Um, we'll take a look at that now. So you can see I've got two, as we've just seen, um, let's just create another one just so you can see what details are required. So, so you can see here if we create a backup profile we can call it Firepower Backups and then you can see um, I have a storage location using SMB. Um, you can see I can by, well by default back up the configuration you do have the option to back up events and back up threat intelligence director um, events as well um, again the email um, to, to, to get notifications via email um, you must have a, a server set up for that I'm not going to demonstrate that today um, and then we have a, an option here to we'll just change that. We have an option here just to um, copy when complete. And all copy when complete is um, it will copy the complete FMC backups to the remote server. So once you're happy with the, the profile, just save as new, or you can start a backup straight away. We'll just select save as new. And there you go, so you've got a new profile now. So if you just flick back to the other screen, it's still not going to show there unless I reloaded it. 
um, I'll still just use the one that I've already configured previously and we'll just go ahead and press uh, save on that now what that will do is you can see now in the calendar uh, you have an event here that we've given the name demo backup and you can see that the task detail um, with the start date frequency etc etc and who actually created it um, is displayed here as well so it's quite useful information especially if um, you're not the one that originally created the task um, so that's for the FMC backups that's not run yet um, when that does run you will see in here let me see if I've got one yeah you can see here that a scheduled backup uh, took place here um, so you will see that when when that's uh, being run and lastly if you want to so you can't configure FMC and FTD backups together under the same task you do need to do them separate so if we just click add a, another task and then we can call this um, demo FTD backup um, backup again we'll do it once same date um, firepower backups is now showing as you can see so we'll just select the one that I've I've already done here and then we need to change this to device there you go and uh, then you, you can see your devices here that you can uh, back up and you've got a little note here saying um, backing up the night 300 and 4100 chassis um, is, is recommended before backing up the, the logical device itself um, you have the option here to retrieve this to the FMC, um, so I'll leave that selected and then again you've got comments uh, as well and you have the email status as well if you've got your email server set up. One thing you may notice here is when you actually select device, um, the backup to option or the backup profile um, disappears. So what will happen here is um, because we have a remote storage area set up to uh, back up this configuration, this will have um, essentially no effect. Um, this is used if you don't have any remote storage uh, set up. It's going to back the information up to the FMC as well. And by default, it saves it to the um folder within the FMC or within the VARs to a uh, folder called remote backup and um, if disabled so if this is disabled where it's going to save the backup um, to the device still um, or the FTD device itself uh, under uh, the backups folder in the VARs um, area so as again, I can say you've got the option here to uh, comment if you need to. And let's just put a comment in actually. Um, and we'll see what effect that has. Um, and we'll leave the email server and then we'll press save. Hmm. So it doesn't seem to be appearing. Nothing does actually. Um, Maybe this is a bug in the, maybe I've just found a bug on the video. Let's just try it quickly again. And if it is a bug for those that are, are watching as well, I am using 6.6.3. Um, so just do, do bear that in mind. So let's maybe try and uh, let's just try and remove this backup task. And then we'll create an FTD one and see if that works. So we've deleted that one now. Let's add another one. Back up once, start date today. Uh, we've still got the demo back up. We're going to select device because we want to back up the FTD. Mm -hmm. We are going to select the FTD device. We'll leave Retrieve to Management Center even though I've got remote storage set up. Um, 
let's do a test comment as we did before and then let's save that and fingers crossed hopefully we get the output we would like yay we do so that's strange maybe that is a um, bug I am not too sure um, but what we can see the difference now obviously the name is different um, you can see that the comments added underneath the name that we've we've um, decided to choose and again we get the same we get the same information here as well um, so let's just quickly just for my sanity try and take a, a schedule another task for the FMC back up again and see if we uh, we can get the output so this time it's for the management center so call it um, demo backup uh, we're going to use FMC backup and let's go to save so this is for the FMC backup task and let's see if we get the output again now so we do so that's um, that's good but strange so it seems as though when I scheduled the FMC backup first and then tried to do the FTD backup for some reason it wasn't refreshing and, and showing us the information we uh, wanted to see but when I scheduled the FTD backup first and then the FMC backup uh, as you can see we can see in the task details and in the calendar that we've got both um, both of those now which is uh, which is good so that is how you schedule um, backups on the firepower management center for both the uh, FMC and for the FTDs as well um, as I say I am using 6.6.3 and you got a little extra insight into maybe a little, maybe a, a potential bug there that we saw. Um, but nevertheless, um, we can see that we've got both tasks scheduled, uh, which is what we want. And then once those tasks uh, scheduled, uh, once the, once the uh, start time is reached, the backups will start and um, you know copy to either the FMC, the FTD locally, or the remote storage that you have. Uh, configured as well if you want to schedule reoccurring backups then you can do that and um, this is just a um, one-time uh, backup for each of those elements but as I say again you, you can't schedule both an FMC and FTD backup within the same task you do need to create two separate tasks so do bear that in mind thank you Oh,